Okay, construction six. Divide a line segment AB into three equal parts. Okay, so I'm going to draw the line AB. It doesn't have to be any length in particular, but for the purpose of this construction, I'm going to make it 12 centimeters. So remember when you're measuring, you go from the zero of the ruler across to 10. Sorry, 12. Okay, and I'm going to call this a and this the point b so that is now the line segment a b perfect and we're going to try and divide this line segment into three equal parts now if we do it correctly because i've made it 12 it should break it into four four and four if we do it correctly okay so how we have to do this is we draw a line at an acute angle to AB. Now an acute angle is any angle less than 90. So just some angle that's diagonal upwards like that. Make it a nice long one. Okay. Now the next thing that we do is we take our compass and our point and make sure it's of a size that you can fit three of them in because that's what we're going to be doing. So we put the point on A and we're going to make our first arc. Okay, then put our point now on the arc that you just made and make another arc. Okay, now put our point on the arc you just made and make another arc. Okay, so we should have one, two, three arcs which means we have one, two, three divisions of this line. Now what we do after that then is we take our ruler and you join this last arc to the point B. Sort of making a triangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines parallel to this line here and here which will then in turn divide AB into equal race into equal parts. Now, how to draw a line parallel to this one? A nice trick to use is to take your ruler, okay, for sliding purposes, and to take a set square. And try and figure out this line here, exactly what slope it has. So you see you're using your ruler to balance and you're sliding this set square. Now, once I have this set square sorted that it's exactly on that line, hold this ruler steady, and then when you slide, you can slide down until it meets the next arc. And when it meets the next arc, you draw that line there, which is parallel to this line. Slide your arc down again, until you meet the next, sorry, slide your ruler down again until you meet the next arc and draw that line there. Okay, and these parallel lines will cut AB into three equal parts. Okay, so this should be equal to this part, should be equal to this part. And we can check because we'll see if it divided it up into 4, 4, and 4. That makes 12. So let's see. So from 0 to 4. So that one's good. Okay. From 0 to 4. From 0 to 4. That one's good. And then the last one is exactly 0 to 4. That one's good. Okay.